guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel so today I thought I would do a little video just showing you how you scan for bargains at B&M um, I'm on a page on Facebook called B&M bargains and more if you're not already a part of this group and you love B&M I honestly recommend that you join it is fabulous so there's a lot of people that go on here basically and they go like bargain hunting they go to their local B&Ms have a look to see what bargains there are scan for bargains and what they do when they find stuff they're basically put it on this website so that other people can see what bargains are about and they can go and get them the problem is some people don't understand or don't know how to scan for stuff basically to find stuff so this is where i come in to help so what you need to do is download the bnm app and that looks like this one here so once that's all downloaded you head to your local bnm shop which i'm at here so what you want to do is you want to click on the app to open it up i don't go to login I just skip that so once you're on this page here which is like the home screen if you keep scrolling and scroll up you'll come to a little phone here which says barcode price checker so if you click on that that'll open up the barcode scanner so now I'll take you in store and we'll scan some barcodes and I'll show you what to do right so what you want to do is find an item that you want to scan and then basically scan it so this is a shimmer rug and it's supposed to be 39.99 so if we turn it around and get the scanner up you hold that over the barcode so this rug is actually on sale for 10 pound but obviously it's not priced up at 10 pound so that is how you find a bargain so yeah, what you basically want to do is just walk around the shop and just scan anything that you like and just see if it is on sale or not. So that one's not, that's £10. Um, also, if you go onto the Facebook site that I said about, a lot of people go into their local B&Ms and find bargains and then you can basically see what other people are picking up so you can go into your local store and see if they've got it as well it's always a good idea to go down the sale type aisle and scan the things that are down there because sometimes these are on sale for cheaper than what they're priced up at so let's scan this one here to so note that one's still a pound so yes guys that's basically it you just need to download the app pop into your local store and get scanning um there's been a couple of questions that i have noticed that people have been asking on the bnm bargains and more facebook group so i thought i would go through those a minute and answer them for you if anyone wants to know anything so a lot of people have been asking obviously what's the app that you use and like I've said before in this video the app is just the B&M app it's this app right here so you just go on Google Play or your your app download store whatever it is whatever phone you've got and you download that B&M bargains and more um, app a lot of people have been saying that they can't find the, the scanner app or they can't find the price checker app it's neither of those it's just literally the B&M app as you go into the B&M app like I showed you earlier you just press on skip and then when you're on the home page here you just scroll just scroll up until you come to this little box here which says barcode price checker so you click on that and then you do your scanning from there wow mind the state of the window guys um we're halfway through decorating our lounge at the moment that's why it's all a bit of a mess but yeah that's all you do on there so i've also seen people asking what it is that you scan and how do you know something is a bargain well basically you don't know that anything's going to be a bargain and you scan 
whatever you want to. Go in there, scan the whole shop if you want. Go on the um, go on the B and M bargains and more Facebook page. They um, a lot of people update this page daily and they put on their bargains that they found. And it might be that um, the store that you go into they might have the same bargains. A lot of the time, it just depends on which store because a lot of the time the bargains are like old stock so it might be old stock from last year and it just literally depends on if your store has it or not um yeah so that's it basically it's just about going in scanning for stuff having a look to see what's around and scan 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 away um i've also seen a couple questions from people asking what to do if it comes up that um, item can't be found. I'm just trying to find an example. So I can't find it at the moment, but some people have put up on here that they've scanned an item and it comes up on the screen. The item cannot be scanned. Sometimes it's just because the phone didn't have an, any signal or you need to scan the item again. Obviously, try and scan the item again. Make sure as well that you are scanning the barcode on the item, not the barcode on the shelf. So scan the item again. If it does come up again, it may be that it's either, um, number one, it's old stock and it might have gone down in price even more. A lot of the times when you scan these items and it comes up not found, um, if you take these to the till, they could end up being 10p. So what I would do, if I would scan an item and I really wanted it and it come up not found, I would just take it to a till or take it to a colleague and ask them to find out how much it is for you. Um, it could also be that it's new stock and it actually hasn't been priced up yet. Um, or it could just be a fault with the app or the signal on your phone. So yeah, if that um, message cannot find item comes up on the screen, then just scan it again or go and ask a colleague, basically. I just wanted to quickly add, basically, the scanner is on the B&M app and obviously B&M own that app because it is the B&M app. So when you scan something, it will come up the same price that you've scanned it up when you take it to the till. So don't be worried that you've scanned something at a pound or 10p. If you take it to the till, it will come up at that price as well because it's the same kind of scanning system that they use in stores because it is the B&M app, it's the B&M scanner. So um, yeah, don't be worried about that. Don't be worried about going up to the till and being questioned or anything by anyone because it is the B&M app, it's the B&M scanner. B&M wouldn't have created this scanner on the app if they didn't want people to use it, basically, would they? So, yeah, um, use away, have fun. I hope that's answered all everyone's questions. Um, so, yeah, basically, there is no wrong and right. It's just about having fun with it really, going into your store, scanning the items and seeing what bargains you can get. If you are on Facebook, I do recommend joining that site. A lot of people go in their stores and scan for bargains and if they find bargains, they l let the other people know on the group. So it might be that they sell similar stuff in your store that you can go and have a look for or keep an eye out for or you could just share what bargains that you found in your store. So yeah, I do hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here and you would like to see more from me, there is a red subscribe button down here. If you click on that and then press on the bell notification, then you will be notified when I next upload a video. So I do lots of like shopping haul videos here, lots of try on hauls, lots of speed cleans. Um, decorate with me videos family vlogs i do a bit of everything really so yes if you do want to see more from me remember you click on that red subscribe button and i will see you soon bye